हेलो एवरीवन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द रोड मैप हाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड और मास्टर द एलएलएम्स बिकॉज आई नो देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ रिसोर्स अवेलेबल ऑनलाइन देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स दैट आर देयर एंड वी डोंट नो व्हाट वी शुड रीड फर्स्ट व्हाट आर द प्री रिक्विजिट्स एंड हाउ और विच पाथ टू बी फॉलोड देन नो वरीज आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन वन बाय वन एंड ऑल्सो द रीजन दैट वाई यू शुड स्टडी दिस पार्ट एंड हाउ एंड वेयर इट इज गोइंग टू यूज दैट सो अ वेरी जनरल ओवर व्यू आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू टूडे सो दैट एटलीस्ट द हाई स्पेसिफिक और आई वुड से सुपरफिशियल नॉलेज यू शुड हैव सो दैट यू कैन गो अहेड लेटर ऑन यू कैन डीप डाइव इन टू ईच कॉन्सेप्ट सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैम थोरोली एंड यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट दैम so first let's talk about the nlp fundamentals okay uh, i know you might be thinking that uh, it's necessary actually this is the question that many students ask sometime that is it necessary that i need to uh, master the fundamentals the reason behind which we, we generally use the llm and uh, directly take inference out of it okay so in that we just need to know some people think that we just need to know the tools and the frameworks and whatever so many buzz words are there online just that only then why and where that fundamentals are used actually so i would say fundamentals are very important because if you know nlp you should be aware of the embeddings embeddings are something uh, which will tell you how a text to be uh, represented in the numbers and the better embedding you will be able to create the better your model will work and if you will uh, study llm you will realize later on all the developments that have been done in llp so far are only the improvements in embeddings itself okay so this is very important not just embeddings if you know the text processing how uh, your model should clean your data or not model i would say how you should clean your data before Uh, feeding it to the model how you are going to evaluate your models what is a sequence to sequence modeling i would say so all these things you should be aware of before so that you can understand what exactly you are doing what does it mean by a language how does it being processed okay and uh, not just processing uh, it's like if you are building a chatbot okay so you are feeding the user input then the you are going to generate the response so llm is just a short part of it apart from that the how your um, answer will be generated or how it will be structured is it right or wrong for so that you actually need uh, need to have a understanding of the nlp or i would say uh, the fundamentals of natural language processing so this is very important so in that case you can learn embeddings you can learn sequence to sequence models and uh, some uh, frameworks or i would say few things about the deep learning also so that you can understand transformers because anyway these are the ones which are been improved later on and uh, when you will learn transformer you will automatically learn with the attention models but i know you might have heard actually uh, but has been uh, created based on the attention model itself so these things you can learn uh, as a prerequisite uh, to learn llm if you are already there you already know nlp fundamentals so you can go to the sec second step now now when you will understand the nlp fundamental the second part you should do is uh, you should be learning llm models first of all what types of open source models okay and maybe some uh, proprietary models that are available uh, i would say these are the ones which are uh, not directly available which are uh, paid versions okay so uh, why to understand them because then you will be able to compare the difference so you will be understand the you will be able to understand the parameters that they are using the gpus that they are using how much memory they require so that you will be able to understand okay what is the difference between them on what parameters they have been trained and you will be able to understand better these things when you will know that okay i know nlp fundamentals now so you will be able to relate and understand llm models better and not just this uh, you need to learn about uh, i would say open ai or hugging face these libraries actually uh, which works for nlp and specifically llm model transformer models hugging face is a transformer uh, library so you can have a knowledge of these also just i'm not saying that you need to experiment at that stage or you need to build your own project at this stage at least you should be aware of what is a hugging face exactly okay how does it work what are the nlp libraries that actually you can master it here also 
there are lots of libraries you might have heard nlt kids there and um, spaces there okay so there are lots of libraries here you can have at least good command on one or two libraries and see some open source frameworks at this point at this point uh, when you will learn about the llm model there are lots of things like chat gpt is one of them or about gpt models falcon is there okay gemini is there google's gemini is there okay so apart from that you will see mistral ai lots of lots of uh, llama llama i think uh, you have heard about it more okay so these models i know these seems to be just name right now but when you will uh, understand nlp then when you will come to this part then you will be able to understand it better that how exactly what these are uh, what people talk about so you will have a good understanding about these things then third you can come to fine tuning basically i would say uh, because llm here these are the pre trained models okay then you will learn then you will understand these are the pre trained model there are big big databases and uh, or about too many data billions trillions of the parameters and uh, there are uh, so many uh, people are there or maybe companies they trained the network their model and they provided us that model for us to use okay so now if we want to do uh, maybe a task or you if we want to utilize that model or for our task we need to do a tweaking a little bit okay so i would say uh, we need to do the fine tuning the similar the way we do the ml model in fine tuning we have to do that is called i feel uh, like you might have heard about the transfer learning also it is exactly similar to that so the way we do transfer learning uh, similarly we i can say we have the uh, pre trained model and we fine tune it okay and uh, then we basically utilize this for our domain specific data domain specific data basically i would say uh, you are retraining your model on your data which is might be small as compared to llm model so you need to at least understand what this uh, fine tuning is and how does it work what are the tools frameworks to do this and when when you are done with this then you will understand one simple thing that fine tuning is not a uh, very feasible sometimes why because when you will do the fine tuning llm is already a very big model okay and when you will retrain or i would say do the transfer learning on it this will be very resource uh, consuming time consuming and it will be very very difficult to uh, go from here llm to the final domain final model or fine tuned mod model basically so generally people started thinking uh, if we can find some other solution or uh, some other ways to do it and they came up with rag okay you might have heard this name i know so what is a rag retrieval augmented generation okay retrieval augmented generation in retrieval augmented augmented generation what we did is uh rather than uh, the thing is there were two problems with the llm not just this first of all if i do the fine tuning and all these things that is very resource consuming uh, and also fine tuning is all, like there might, we can't use llm directly directly if you use it might not be able to uh, answer uh, your own document suppose there is a policy in your own company and maybe uh, llm is not being or generalized as it is generalized it will not be able to answer your uh, things correctly so there was a problem second thing also it is last llm that was trained was january i'm talking about chat gpt here not all the model just giving you an example uh, that was trained i think till january 2022 22 data so after that if you want to ask about any new knowledge or any other thing it does not have okay after that it does not have any knowledge after that it does not have the knowledge okay so basically there are two things and also whatever knowledge it had okay can you say that uh, it is still authentic maybe over the years that knowledge has been updated 
ओके सो आई वुड से नो ऑथेंटिसिटी एज सच इफ आई नो एनी रिसोर्सेज ओके दैट विल एक्चुअली गिव समथिंग ओके आई नो दिस इज़ अ रिसोर्स एंड यू कैन रेफर दिस देन इट इज एक्चुअली मैटर्स अदरवाइज इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो दीज थ्री थिंग्स आई वुड से रैग ओवरकम ओवरकेम ओके सॉरी ओवरकेम सो हेयर इन दिस केस दीज थ्री थिंग्स वर एक्चुअली मिटिगेटेड बाय द रैग और आई वुड नॉट से कम्प्लीटली बट टू सम हाउ वॉट वी डू एग्जैक्टली हेयर रेदर दैन ट्रेनिंग आई टेक माई एल एल एम मॉडल एंड आई टेक सम डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड वेन एवर अ यूजर आज सम क्वेश्चन दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज रेफर टू दैट एंड वॉट एवर इज माई यूजर क्वेरी ओके ओके एंड सपोज आई आस समथिंग एंड एल एल एम डज नॉट हैव सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट लाइक डायरेक्टली सेंडिंग टू दैट यूजर क्वेरी टू दिस एल एल एम मॉडल आई विल सेंड सम कॉन्टेक्सट विच विल विच वॉज देयर इन माई दिस डॉक्यूमेंट ओके सो दिस आई वुड से डॉक्यूमेंट आई शेयर एंड बोथ द थिंग्स टूगेदर आई विल शेयर टू द एल एल एम देन इट विल जनरेट द रिस्पॉन्स this is a very high level overview i'm telling you okay so you have to understand this is how it will work so uh, here if you notice i didn't need to train my llm model every time i have to just plug in external data source uh, whenever a user query comes i just need to extract this context from this and combine these two things together i would say the combine these two things together and uh, i can send it to the llm and generate the response okay this is how it works so if you want to build your own project it's very important that you understand rag 99% cases people uh, use rag if they want to uh, utilize uh, this llm model for their specific domain or maybe for a specific test if you just want to take the inference then it's fine okay in the next part is prompt engineering that you need to learn what is a prompt engineering basically i'll tell you whenever a user asks some query there are some set or there is some format that we pass so here is the user query maybe some mathematical question is asked so i would say question then answer because uh, i want to check the answers from um, the students that they have given right so i need to Oh, pass a proper format every time so that I don't need uh, to pass this whole context every time. I just need to pass the query every time, the question, mathematical question, and it will automatically consider. Or maybe suppose you are doing the multiple choice. Okay, this is what you are saying, saying, and you want to generate the multiple choice answer. So apart from the query, you can uh, feed into the input of the llm that please give me the four option or four alternative something like so this line this is statement you don't need to pass again and again okay so this is called prompt engineering it's very important if you suppose if you just want to extract the inference you don't want to do fine tuning you don't want to apply rag and you just want input or oh, sorry you just want the output then you have to tweak your input somehow you have to tweak your input every time so that it can understand better and extract the relevant context or i would say extract the relevant answer relevant answer from this this is called prompt engineering uh, this is a very again there are lots of methods in the prompt engineering lots of tools frameworks are available for the prompt engineering as well so we can learn about that thing in the detail whenever we come to this point now we have learned about the prompt engineering we have uh, learned about the rag we have learned about the frameworks we have learned about the llm models what are their open source there is one more thing that you can add here that i missed actually you can add the architecture if you want to see how llm model were designed okay so this uh, is optional though but uh, later on might be if you want to excel like master it more and more on more you want to tweak lots of things then it's good to have a knowledge of uh, architectural design as well apart from that now because you have learned the pieces i have learned the prompt engineering i have learned the rag i have learned the fine tuning okay i have learned the nlp and uh, i have learned uh, one more thing 
I have learned uh, how to feed the model uh, uh, input to the model. There is one more thing that you can do is you can learn the vector databases. This, there is no order to learn the vector databases. It can be learned initially also. Vector databases is basically the external source where you are saving your data. When you I am talking about here the document, okay, there are some information that has to be saved in the form of numbers. So how you are saving it, that actually matters a lot because it helps in extraction. So generally we store our data into vector databases so that also you can learn there are frameworks to uh, save the data into different different manner and also it is it's not necessary that every time you have to save your data into vector databases if it's very large enough it's not possible that you can extract the information at the real time it will take time to read that database again and again then uh, use the vector database otherwise you can directly use any open source web or anything in uh, from uh, like to extract the data okay now when i have everything pieces all the pieces together then i can learn um, a framework or i would say tool actually to so that framework or tool that can put all the pieces together and basically build the more or i would say build or uh, implement your use case okay that can implement your use case so i just name it one lang chain you can use because i know prompt engineering i know rag but theoretically the architecture i know if i want to implement it real time i need a language i need a framework which can actually pass information from one to another something like this right so for that you need a framework or tool that for that you can use lang chain okay once you are done almost everything uh, is already done after that you can deploy your model llm deployment you can do or uh, you can build llm ops like monitoring you can keep again there are lots of tools frameworks for the same thing but uh, you can use apis actually api apis you can use or maybe for that you can use cloud services as well to uh, basically host your application or where user can actually real time interact so uh, these are the things that you can work on one by one i would say uh, start nlp fundamentals is the for, uh, most important one that you have to do this in the start after that you can work on the llm then fine tuning then rag then prompt engineering when and the vector databases when all these things are done then you can implement you can try your uh, hands dirty get your hands dirty with uh, uh, all the information that you have gathered and then you can deploy your model or then you are done you can build a project whatever you want and mostly mostly with the llm i would say uh, you can try uh, uh, first ex trying with the information extraction information extraction or uh, maybe uh, building a simple chatbot so when i'm saying simple chatbot uh, it's not necessary that it will have a memory that it can understand you just try with the minimal possible thing that you can see and there are lots of resources online and maybe in the next uh, tutorial i'm going to share what frameworks and things that you can use otherwise you can start building with one small problem and see how i can put these pieces together in that uh, particular uh, use case that you are working on and you are good to go so this is all i wanted to discuss uh, in today's uh, tutorial uh, we'll see the frameworks and what tools and which tools we can use next time thank you